You're so cute. Oh, oh you do, you do, you do. Are we going? Mm hmm. Uh, oh, you do, you do. We're here with uh, Bailey, the puppy, and Bobby from Front Street Animal Shelter again for a first day. Look at that face. That makes you want to crawl right through the screen and, and grab this little girl and take her home. Uh, Bobby's here. Bobby, how old is she? Give us the rundown. What's uh, Bailey's bio? So, Bailey is a two month old terrier mix. Uh, okay. She actually arrived at the shelter last week with uh, two siblings. Aww. And so, she has a, another brother and shel uh, sister at the shelter, uh, but she's obviously going to be our first day pet of the week. <laughs> she is cute. Look at her. <laughs> you are so cool. Yeah, she's just a doll. Has a great disposition. Uh, she's been very social with her brother and sister. And I thought it'd be cool. Number one, you know, we, we do have older dogs often that sit a long time in the shelter. But bringing a puppy gives people a great deal, but also lets us talk about what kind of responsibility is required in adopting a puppy. And if you had to, I hate to give you a hard question. Percentage of puppies that you get, far fewer than the adult dogs, but... Do you get a lot, a few? You you would be surprised. So oftentimes uh, we get puppies that are, are not old enough to be adopted yet. So they'll come in boxes. Young lit ones. Litters of puppies, right? Yeah. And so, or maybe a mom and puppy. So in order for puppies to be adoptable through shelters, they have to be at least two pounds in two months. And the reason is that's the youngest that we can spay or neuter those pets, which is required gotcha. for the pets before they can go home. And by law. Also, by law. And okay. you also want them to be socialized and you want to make sure that they're healthy enough to be adopted. So. Many times when we get young puppies that are a month, three weeks, two weeks, they'll go to foster homes. So those are people. So who they are, can get older and absolutely. Get and him. so those are people that are providing temporary care until they get to about Bailey's age, since he's about two months. So this is really the youngest puppy that should ever be adopted, and then you'll see in shelters. I have to tell you, and I try to be impartial. <laughs> I I think this is quite possibly. And not to be a dogist or a catist or an animalist, <laughs> this is the coolest dog that we've had on a first day. She is so cool. Look at her eyes. And so relaxed. Her eyes are beautiful. Look at that marking. Yeah, and so... Uh, she is beautiful. We do have people ask us if we do get puppies, and we, and we do get quite a bit of puppies. Uh, mm -hmm. What ends up happening, though, is they go quickly because people want them, right? Uh, but it's always important to talk about what sort of responsibility is involved when you get a puppy. And it, it is. It's tough oh, with a puppy. Yeah. You you get, I think, um, I'm not going to say a more loyal dog, but it's fun to grow with the dog. But it's a lot of work in the beginning until they get out of those puppy phases it's just or like, stage. It's just like having a kid. I mean, there's you got to teach them all sorts of things. you got to work on potty training. you got to work on a lot of basic obedience. You know, the puppies are going through the teething phase, so a lot of your mm -hmm. stuff's getting chewed up. you got to puppy-proof your house. So, I mean, it is a great experience mm -hmm. if you're willing to put in the investment of time. Yeah, you got to be committed. You mm -hmm. really do. Uh, and I've always told people, too, it's really tough. Luckily, this winter isn't that wet, but a lot of times people, they want, you know, pets for Christmas mm -hmm. or in the wintertime months. One of the worst seasons when you got a puppy train, you're going in and out. It's a lot messier hard work, you know, when it's wet. Luckily, it's not too wet, but... Uh, something else to keep in mind is the the in and out and the mess that it can create. Yeah, and you know these are little puppies and they have little bladders, so you got to take them out pretty frequently, especially when you're trying to teach them their new regimen. I mean, dogs do better with having uh, a routine, and so going out at the same time, sleeping in the yeah. same place, it, it does help. Uh, and and today we're going to give people a great deal because normally to adopt a puppy it's about a hundred bucks. Oh, so again, the Front Street Animal Shelter first day deal, spade neuter. Vaccination, um, chipped, mm -hmm. everything, all cost, covered, free of charge. Bailey goes home uh, because she's featured on first day today. I can't believe you brought her in. I had to show you some the, love, man. This is a great, great little girl. <laughs> yeah. Look at her little puppy belly. I, I just kind of want to take her home. She really is. Look at this. Oh. I know. And I don't know, Danny, can you see her paws? She's going to get quite a bit bigger, it looks like. She's going to be a pretty decent-sized dog. If we had to estimate, probably somewhere between 40 to 60 pounds. So she'll be a medium to large-sized dog. Uh, her brother has quite a bit of size on him, too. And because they're from the same litter, we think they're going to be pretty big. And again, the breed? Uh, she's some sort of terrier mix. Uh, mm -hmm. We're not exactly sure. All three of them look fairly different, so it's hard to say. Uh, the thing I do know is that she has a very sweet disposition. Wow. Uh, something else, too, Bobby. Uh, we found out today on Facebook, Duke, the uh, black German Shepherd, he was our hardest dog to adopt. Uh, I believe he was there for two weeks after we featured him. 
And today we saw, because it was National Love Your Pets Day on yep. Tuesday, so we put posts up, people shared their photos. Uh, the photo came in today. I forget the woman's name, forgive me. Lisa, I think. Lisa. They adopted Duke. Oh and they thanked us, they thanked you guys. And it was so cool to see him in that home environment. And his demeanor, his eyes. His ears his, were up. Everything changed. Because he was a really tough sell when yeah. we got there. Because he was really skittish. Mm -hmm. He was really uneasy. And... Lo and behold, they got him, and they said they couldn't be happier. That makes me so happy. Our shelter at Front Street, we take in about 11,000 animals every year. Mm -hmm. Many of them, they're at no fault of their own, right? They're getting out. They're getting lost. And Duke, you know, he, as you can see, when he's in a warm, comfortable home, he's a very loving social dog. Completely different. But in a shelter, it's a scary place, man. Yeah. All sorts of smells, all sorts of people, all sorts of things you don't know. And so we don't see the best of dogs when they're with us. Well, it'd be like you. Like, a lot of people don't. We haven't talked about this. I did... Uh... I did about a dime. I did a, a short stint uh, in prison in a state penitentiary. But for someone like you that's never done jail time, <laughs> try to do it with the so straight. Ridiculous. But for someone like you that's never done jail time, you can imagine how scary uh, federal prison would be. You you look like quite the jail dog with this puppy <laughs> yes. in your lap right now. By the way. Bobby was kind of sitting there going, "Really? This guy's done a dime? <laughs> no, I've done Bailey. I've never been to prison. No, no." I, I was like, wow, we're getting real comfortable real fast. <laughs> the puppies bring out a lot in people, yes. don't they? No, so, it, and it really is. I mean, it really, I mean, luckily the perception has changed. People look at Front Street as a loving, compassionate place. We're saving more animals than ever. Uh, but we never forget that, you know, we are doggy jail. It's a scary mm -hmm. place, and there's a lot of dogs there. And uh, sometimes it takes a good owner to bring out the best in a dog, and that's what happened for you. This, this dog, uh, great point, by the way, but she needs to model. <laughs> she, she needs. To, she, she. I mean, look at look at this belly, and she's just so. Imes call us. Yes. The buffalo call us. She is so well composed and behaved. Look at how pretty you are. So again, absolutely free, spayed, neutered, shit, vaccinated, ready to go, all fees waived. Uh, give this a time. How many days until she goes? Oh, she's gone by Friday. One. I don't even know if she's gonna make it out with you sitting here in this. Level. Yeah, we might have to take <laughs> Bailey home. Yeah, she and, is cute. And we're located at 2127 Front Street. We're typically open Wednesday through Sunday from noon to 5. I know she's going to go quick, but like I said, she has two siblings. Uh, they're not going to be free of charge, but if you really want a puppy, come on down. And look at this. Look at this. I'm wearing black. And look at the hair. Nothing. That's pretty good. Yeah. Not yet. So low shed rate. Again, Bobby, thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. Say bye, Bailey. Bye-bye. Look at this. <laughs> you're so cute. <laughs>